Hi, here I am filming a YouTube video, obviously, um, and I have not wanted to film a video in the amount of time that I haven't posted anything, but for like the past week, I'm like, you know what, I kind of want to film a video, like I kind of just had that urge to like pick up the camera and film my day, which doesn't make any sense to me because we're literally stuck in quarantine, unable to do anything or go out and do anything exciting, so I don't know what I'm trying to film, but um, I was like, you know what, let me just do it. So how am I doing? Um, the past couple months have been, I would say, subpar. Some days not so great, some days okay. But for the past couple days, I've been feeling pretty decent. So I just kind of wanted to take action. And for some reason, I had this little voice that's like, why don't you film a video? And I'm like, okay. So as you can see, I chopped my hair off, um, meaning I literally took scissors to my own hair, like the first day of quarantine, and chopped it off. It ended up being 11 inches, so that's one thing that changed. I'm home from school, obviously. We have like mm, three weeks left of online school, and that's been fine. I actually haven't had a lot of assignments, so it's really not that much to keep up with. I feel for all of my like science friends and stuff like that because I can't imagine doing like chemistry and stuff online. So if you're in the science field, I pray for you. <laughs> but at the same time, it does suck. Even though I haven't really enjoyed school and I never really wanted to go, I, at least coming out of the house three days a week. And if I'm being honest, um, this social isolation quarantine thing isn't far off from how I normally live, but at least I had the option to go out before. Um, and I didn't realize how much just going out to random places and wandering around affected my mental stability. So, so yeah, I bet you're all feeling the same way, how it's been pretty tough just being stuck, not able to do anything. So I'm trying to make the most of it. I'm trying to stay positive and just keep myself as busy as I can with meaningless tasks. So I guess that's what today's video is going to be about because... There's nothing else I do. So yeah, today I started off waking up at 5 a.m. because that's how my internal insomnia alarm clock likes to wake me up. Um, and then after a little bit, just sitting there, I was like, all right, let me get some breakfast, made some banana toast, and had some coffee. Came back up here, and I actually did fall back asleep, which really never happened. So now it's like 11, and um, my to-do list of all my exciting things um, really just includes cleaning my room <laughs> because... You can't see it, but it is disgusting. And then I want to paint something because I've been on a painting roll trying to keep my creative juices flowing during this quarantine. Also, I'm such a perfectionist that like the smallest canvas will take me many hours to finish. So that just wastes my time. And then I also want to work out. <laughs> so I haven't worked out in like a year, like consistently. Maybe I've tried to do a workout here and there, but like... I am not the same fitness guru girl you guys all know. Like, I am not that fit queen anymore. <laughs> it is actually sad how little stamina I have. So, during this quarantine, I'm trying to take all the free time I have and force myself to do something active because, you know, we sit around all day. So, I will be trying to work out. It will not be good, but it'll be something. <laughs> I would say to get that summer bod, but who knows if we're going to have a summer. So, yeah, enough of me talking. Um, I guess... We'll clean my room. I don't know how to transition this. Like, it's literally not exciting. Um, so this is what my room looks like. That is a mess. There's this on the floor. That over there. Bathroom, just as messy. You know what? I don't claim all this mess, though, because my mom is cleaning out a spare bedroom, and she decided to put, like, all the extra stuff in my room. So, like, that stuff is not mine, but I'm still going to have to clean it up anyway, so. All right, hold on.
All right, y'all, this is literally the funniest angle ever, but <laughs> the only place I could put my phone where it would stay up. I'm on my way to Panera right now to pick up some food. Don't worry, they bring it to your car. It's still social distancing. I'm not eating there or anything. But um, I am just so tired of making my own food and tired of eating the same things all the time. Like, it has become a chore. I'm pretty sure we all feel that way, just making food. I just, I can't be bothered half the time. So I was like, you know what? I want something good. I want something cold and refreshing, which I didn't have anything cold to eat, you know, like a salad, like I want a salad. So I'm getting like a fruity summer salad or whatever from Panera and I'm so excited. Like I'm so excited to have someone else prepare my food for me and know it's gonna be good. You don't realize all the things, the little things you take advantage of when they're closed and you're in quarantine secured the bag and I'm eating my bread right now because I'm so hungry. Uh, Panera bread, I could live solely off of this. I realized I forgot to film my salad because I ate it so fast that it was just gone. Um, but it was actually not as good as I expected. Um, so anyway, I was just chilling outside with my neighbor, distanced of course, but we were just in lawn chairs chatting and whatever. And then I had a virtual OBGYN appointment. That's new. I mean, it was just like a chat for 10 minutes, so it's not as crazy as it sounds. Um, but now I'm eating popcorn and chilling in bed watching TikToks, which I now realize I've been doing for probably well over an hour. But why not? I also have a TikTok. It makes me very anxious posting on there for some reason. I just feel like it's a very, um, there's a certain standard on TikTok. You either have to be really funny or really pretty. And I don't feel like I'm on the end of either of those spectrums. Like, I make up for each of them with each other, you know? Plus, I don't like the fact that these 16-year-olds literally look like all models. Does not make me feel good about myself. Yeah, so um, go show my TikTok some love because like I said, it makes me very anxious posting on there. And I usually end up deleting out with a lot of stuff, but I'm trying not to. So if something disappears, oh, I'm sorry. All right, so now I have to force myself to either paint or work out. I'm going to do both. I'm telling myself I'm going to do both. Um, I just have to figure out what order I'm gonna do them in. I might paint first because I want to go for like a jog maybe but it's like 70 degrees out so I don't really want to get that sweaty so I might wait till it gets cooler out don't know I don't really know what else to say there's really nothing else to discuss here okay I'll catch up with you on whatever I do Um, so it started raining like 15 seconds into my jog, so... Well, actually it started as a walk, but then it started raining, so then I had to jog home. <laughs> so I'm just gonna work out here. out of shape <laughs> this would have been so easy like a year ago like I would have laughed at this workout and now I'm in pain <laughs> okay so this is an exact reenactment of me trying to get up off this chair after just doing that workout <gasps> my knees gave out <laughs> I will admit that I was just on my phone for probably about six hours. Am I ashamed and disgusted? Yes. That's it. That's all I have to say. Um, yeah, I was just... We're all feeling like that, okay? I can't, I can't do anything, so then I just cycle through the same three apps all the time, and I just can't convince myself to get up and actually go do something. So I didn't end up painting, but you know... I was still getting some good laughs from TikTok. My serotonin levels were still being raised, so that's all that really matters at this point. But um, my eyes hurt. <laughs> you can probably see it in my eyes, the pain. So I'm just gonna go to bed. Yep, that's it. So I uh, just want to film a little outro and say thanks for watching. Um, if it's been a while, you've been subscribed, but you stayed.
thanks. <laughs> I knew I would be back one day. At least I hoped I would. And um, who knows how often I'm going to post, but if you did like this, please let me know in the comments so I know to continue. Um, if you have any video suggestions, because obviously I can't vlog every day because we don't do anything, we're in quarantine, um, then let me know. And um, yeah, I just want to say thanks. I don't know how to do this shit anymore, what the fuck? <laughs>